Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. Client has published another new version, version 3.18 and with this new version, Client is now more powerful because they have integrated this Gemini CLI provider. Yesterday, I made a video on this Gemini CLI which is basically an alternative to Cloud Core. In Cloud Core, you have to pay the money but in this Gemini CLI, you don't have to pay anything and you will get access to all of the premium models like Gemini 2.5 Pro or Gemini 2.5 Plus and another Gemini models that are available, you will get access to that for free. So client are now supporting that Gemini CLI provider and here you see that now it is optimized for Cloud Core support means 2x reduction in deep edit failure rates and it is very important when you are requesting to do the changes in your code base and also they have integrated new web page tool allows client to retrieve and summarize web content directly in conversations. We know that Cursor or WineServe both have the web tool where you can basically search anything over the internet and you can gather information and you can give, give that information to that AI coder. Now also client are supporting that feature but for free. So we will see that how to uh, use all of these features. Now let me show you one by one all of these features. First, I will start with this Gemini CLI provider. So for that, go to this VS code and there go to this extension marketplace and make sure you have updated this client extension to the latest version. The latest version is currently version 3.18. Okay. And uh, after that, go to that client and there go to this settings and there under this plan and act mode under this API provider, you will find this Gemini CLI provider. Now to use this Gemini CLI provider, make sure you have watched this video because in this video, I have shown you the setup, the complete setup. Now after the setup, you will be able to use this Gemini CLI provider. Here you see that they have also written these things that uh, important requirements. First, you need to install the Gemini CLI tool. Then you have to run these things, blah, blah, blah. So basically all the things that they have mentioned here, I have already made a video on this. So please watch this video. And after that, it will automatically get the path and you don't have to give anything here, this OAuth credential path. Just keep it blank. It will automatically detect the, detect the path. And here in this model section, just select this Gemini 2.5 Pro and it is currently free. That you see that free tier. And also you will uh, get access to all of the Gemini models that are available. Like this Gemini 2.5 flash is also there. Okay. Now click on the save. And after that here, if you just write hi, and here you see that it is making the API request. And uh, here you see, hello again, how can I help, help you with your project today? Okay. So in this way, you can use the Gemini CLI. Now, another interesting thing that they have added is this uh, div edit here you see that now with cloud sonnet 4 the div edit failure rate got decreased before there was a div edit failure rate 10 uh, percent and after that it got reduced to six percent it is very important if you are working in any production ready code in that case uh, the deep rate failure should be less okay and now the another feature is this web page tool so if you go to this client and there if you search here like in this way um, what should I use the new task tool in client? Now, if I press enter here, you will see that it will do the web request that you see client faced content from this URL means from the uh, web we got this URL. So if I click on this, it will take me to that web version. So in this way, you can interact with the internet and you can gather information anything. And uh, basically, if you found any tutorial, any helpful blog, over the internet then you can copy their url and you can uh, paste it here and just ask client to implement that or to read that document and it will do that things for you with the help of this new web page tool so i hope that these features will be helpful for you guys and uh, with these features now client is more powerful and uh, you can use it for free and i will recommend you to use it because they are giving the same features and uh, sometimes if you compare then you will see that this client has also more feature than WineServe or Cursor. So please give a try to this client plus VS Code combination. So thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel. Don't forget to like this video also and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and please give a like so that many people can get access to this video and this video can be reached to many people.